In today's show, Bitcoin history is being made. Bitcoin pumped 42% in the past 24 hours, making it the fourth largest gain in history since May 10th of 2011. This is a pretty big deal. We're going to be talking about in today's show three reasons why the Bitcoin price surged 40%. We're also going to be taking a look at some tweets from Anthony Pompliano, who shared breaking Chinese President Xi Jinping just publicly supported China going all in on blockchain technology across their economy. This will be the space race of our generation. America has to embrace the technology, including Bitcoin, or we risk being left behind. He also tweeted, someone tell President Donald Trump that there are only 21 million Bitcoin and that China is planning to buy them all. This is going to be the real U.S.-China competition. That should get him to pay attention. The guy hates losing and will try to buy them all. Pretty hilarious, right? And also in today's show, we're going to be taking a look at an anonymous prediction dated back on January 21st, 2019, which has been accurate thus far, predicting that the Bitcoin price go to $16,000 this month of October 2019. Keeping in mind there's only a week left of the month. Will it happen? We'll be discussing this and so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every day. Be sure to smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive notifications of the latest premium crypto news. And to celebrate the launch of our podcast, our sponsor, CMDX, the fastest growing health rewards cryptocurrency in the world is giving away $25 worth of CMDX tokens absolutely free. For full details, click the link right below this video in the description. Welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. As you can see, the entire crypto market has been pumping. Unlike anything I've ever witnessed personally before, Bitcoin pumped over 40% in the past 24 hours, and then it went back down to $9,184, which is where we're currently at. We've seen it go as high as almost 10,400, jumping from 7,500. So that's almost a $3,000 gain in 24 hours. That's a pretty big deal. And as you can see, all the altcoins have been following along. The entire crypto market started pumping. The market cap went from about $205 billion to $261 billion, just like that. Now let's take a look at this tweet from Alex Kruger, who talks about Bitcoin moving 42% in one day, saying it's the fourth largest gain in history and the largest since May 10th, 2011, if comparing against daily returns, and the 15th largest two-day gain in history since November 18th, 2013. Thank you, China. President Xi is the true crypto dad. So a lot of people are talking about what's going on in China right now with the president embracing blockchain technology as one of the main causes for this incredible Bitcoin and crypto surge. Alex Kruger also went on to share if comparing against the daily high versus low, this is the 54th largest daily move, largest since January 14th, 2015, and the 88th largest two-day move, the largest since February 7th, 2018. This is still bigger than December 2017. 95% of the 42% gains happened between 2009 and 2013. So as you can see, this is a pretty big deal. He also went on to share, this is how a big news-driven move looks like. It has nothing to do with moving averages, Fibonacci's, trend lines, or the CME expiry. This to me is common sense. If you disagree, well, makes absolutely no difference. Not meant to agree. And he also went on to say 42% outliers don't take place due to technicals. Technicals may help. And then someone responded, has this really to do with China? Why would anyone believe that the government is supporting Bitcoin instead of its own centrally controlled blockchain? I'm confused. Penny Trader wrote, you nailed it, bro. Doesn't seem anyone is reading the article carefully and using critical thinking skills on Xi's ambitions with the blockchain. Just euphoria on Bitcoin's piggyback movement. Never trust governments. Can't argue with that one, right? George responded, the Chinese are all in and they're 1.4 billion. Could you imagine that? 
I know I can. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. Now taking a look at Anthony Pompliano's tweets. He wrote, breaking Chinese President Xi Jinping just publicly supported China going all in on blockchain technology across their economy. This will be the space race of our generation. America has to embrace the technology, including Bitcoin, or we risk being left behind. Some of the responses, better technology to enslave citizens is not exactly something I would be proud of. A blockchain that is fully state-sponsored is way more dystopian than the status quo, if you can imagine that. Let China have it if they want it, but I pass. I prefer non-state issued money. Stacey Herbert responded, it's probably more about evading what is likely to be the near future of escalating sanctions of a weaponized settlement network, not just against evildoers, but will be slammed, but even allied nations in Europe, etc. No empire goes down quietly. Others will naturally prepare. Pretty interesting, right? Matt Huff responded, well, the USA doesn't even have an office of technology assessment or senators that know how Facebook makes money. Rory wrote Bitcoin, not blockchain. Mr. Hoddle put, let them call it blockchain. Hey, call it what you want, right? And now taking a look at Anthony Pompliano's other tweet sharing, someone tell President Real Donald Trump that there are only 21 million Bitcoin and China is planning to buy them all. This is going to be the real US-China competition. That should get him to pay attention. The guy hates losing and will try to buy them all. And checking out some of the responses, Rhythm responded with, greed destroys fiat. Greed secures Bitcoin. Yersula Love wrote, a true philosopher you are. And then there's some funny memes of Donald Trump. Paul wrote, in a digital world where decisions are split second and winning is critical, can anyone really afford to not have a little crypto and especially Bitcoin and Ethereum Classic? For what you spend on convenience coffee, you could be using to protect your family's future. The time is now. I like those words. ML responded, this guy is hilarious. Why would China buy all the Bitcoin? They would simply destroy Bitcoin by banning mining and just create their own digital currency. Oh, wait, the latter is already in progress. Stephen Bull from Dieppe wrote, I am 100% sure that Trump did acknowledge XRP is being adopted by banks and financial institutions to solve a real problem, which is trapped liquidity used for cross-border payments. Dutch wrote, at least Ripple talked to the White House. That news alone should have brought XRP over a dollar. And then uh, Hastero wrote, pick a side here. Why would the real Donald Trump and his administration, the U.S. Treasury, consider something that China handled at all verticals? Well, Bitcoin mining is 80% within country. Bitmain is the largest POW manufacturer. And Tencent ventured in Blockstream. And now for the three reasons why the Bitcoin price surged 40% just like that. Well, we already talked about one, and that's the Chinese president embracing the blockchain and Bitcoin. So let's move on down to... Director Van Eck, Gaber Gerbix, and CME Futures expert yesterday in the arrest of the crypto capital CEO may be a good result for exchanges getting some of their lost funds back. There's a tweet three reasons why Bitcoin surged today. The CME Bitcoin futures expired at 4 p.m. London time last Friday of the month. President Xi Jinping supports blockchain in China, which we discuss, and crypto capital CEO arrested. Exchanges such as Bitfinex may get some of the seized $850 million back. And add to the recent performance of BACT, which just hit a record day for future contracts, and you actually have four reasons why Bitcoin surged. The record level of over 11 700 Bitcoin is a new high for BACT, which also announced it would be launching Bitcoin options on December 9th, 2019. And you can see this tweet from BACT. Today's volume so far, 1,131 Bitcoin. Last traded price, $8,622. Just keep in mind, this was yesterday at 3.55 p.m. before the crazy astronomical surge. And the trading day progress, 54%. If this continues, 100% equals to 2,095 Bitcoin. And taking a look at the overall cryptocurrency market cap, it spiked from about 205 billion to over 250 billion and back down to where it's currently at at 244 billion dollars with the 153 billion in volume in the past 24 hours alone and the Bitcoin dominance is currently 68.3% as Bitcoin was pumping and surpassed 10,000, I took a look at the market cap and it hit 
just above 71%, and it just went down as it dropped back down, giving some room for the alts to continue to climb, which leads us to the alt market. Ethereum is currently up 8.9%, trading at $181. XRP is up 3%, trading at 29 cents. BNB coin is up 4%, trading at $18.67. Miss Litecoin is up 10%, trading at $56. EOS is up 11%, trading at $3.14. Link is up 2%, trading at $2.81. As you can see, most all the major cryptos are pumping, and that's a really good sign for the crypto market. And taking a look at the biggest losers for the day, you got QDAO down 19.5%, S4F down 39%, you have EXRT down 28%, Dream down 88%, NEO and IO down 25%, ADH down 31%. But more interestingly, let's take a look at the top 50 gainers for the day. And as you can see, ADK up 81%, trading at $2.86. BTX up 72%, trading at almost 28 cents. DDK up 52%, trading at $9.32. DEC up 57% trading at 11 cents. AT is up 109% trading at 2.8 cents. Drop is up 59%. LGO is up 72%. HOT is up 66%. PROM, P-R-O-M, is up 92%. And FTT is up 84%. So as you can see, the majority of the alt market is pumping, and this is a very bullish sign for cryptocurrency. Now taking a look at this anonymous Bitcoin price prediction, which predicts the Bitcoin price to go to $16,000 this month of October 2019. Let's read it. And keep in mind, this was written back on January 21st, 2019, and thus far has been very accurate. This anonymous person wrote, the bottom was December 15th, 2018. Just look at the charts. We are in the bull market. We are currently in the last three months of accumulation stage. After that, we will slowly rise and rise. Then we will boom, screen capture this. April 2019th, Bitcoin price at $5,300, which happened. July 2019, the Bitcoin price at $9,200, which happened, and let's also keep in mind when this prediction was made, Bitcoin was extremely bearish. In the beginning of the year, Bitcoin was trading at just above $3,000. So for this anonymous prediction to surface and be true thus far is a pretty big deal, and it really makes you wonder. And then October 2019, I mean, where we're currently at, he predicts $16,000. Now, keeping in mind, there's only one week left of the month Will Bitcoin continue to surge? Ultimately meaning, will Bitcoin have went from 7,500 all the way to 16,000, more than doubling in value? Well, that would need to occur for this prediction to come true. So let's see what happens. And then February 2020 has the Bitcoin price at $29,000. Then July of 2020, which is right after the halving, which is May of 2020, they have the Bitcoin price at $56,000. Then November, of next year, the Bitcoin price at 87,000 and went on to say, this will be a $1.5 trillion market cap. The dominance of Bitcoin will only be 40 to 46%. The charts never lie. And taking a look at some of the responses, Dennis Ronan wrote, I love this, but I think it's a little too optimistic. Bitcoin in December at 30,000, maybe I'm too cautious. Now next year after the halving, rocket ships and i'll be sure to include this tweet in the show notes below this video in the description along with all the other show notes so you can check it out and uh, utilize this information david wrote if it hits those highs i'm buying you dinner <laughs> mokaya wrote let's hope sooner than later trojan bible wrote sorry estimate 15,000 to 15,980 for october hmm practically 16,000. The crypto politician party wrote, LOL, I wouldn't hold your breath on this. Rena wrote, is he a time traveler? Hmm. <laughs> and then someone put, it's a robot. And then uh, Kuni wrote, 
5x by next July all in. So as you can see, there's a lot of bullish sentiment in the market at this moment. Taking a look over at the BitMEX margins, we can see that the bulls are currently in control, dominating with 205 million in superiority with longs leading the way, but barely by 51.03% versus 48.9%. 7% shorts. Are you bullish or bearish on Bitcoin? Let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in. Are you journeying along with me? If so, hop inside my rocket ship and let's take this crypto Bitcoin movement straight to the moon. You feel me? If you got value out of today's show, make sure to smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive notifications of the latest premium crypto news up, up, and beyond, my friends. And before I go, I want to give a special thanks to our sponsor, CMDX, the fastest growing health rewards cryptocurrency in the world. To celebrate the launch of our podcast, they're giving away $25 in CMDX tokens absolutely free. For full details, click the link right below this video in the description, and I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.